Hello everyone and welcome to this video. I didn't expect to make this video today but I've been wanting to make it so I'm just using my phone so if it's a bit shaky there uh, that's why. And I've come to this place here, Yuan Fan Guabao and this is Michelin star, Michelin recommended. So we're going to try this and I'm going to start showing you some Michelin food in Taipei. I'm not going to all the fancy uh, fine dining restaurants because that's not my bag, as Austin Powers says. But this kind of thing is, I love it. So we'll get a guab out here and see if it's uh, worth the hype. So that is the shop there, and it's got a massive queue look. And this is in the Snake Alley. This street is in one of the sleazy areas in uh, Taipei. But this is famous for selling snake but people in Taiwan don't really eat snake, not really. Making the bar bow there look. And there is the Michelin look 2021, 2022, 2020, 2023. <laughs> I haven't been here for donkey's years donkey's years means ages but there's loads of cooler shops here now these shops weren't really here years ago so if you come to Taipei you want to get Michelin Guabao it's in the Snake Alley Market Huashi Market in Wanhua Look at the queue, man. The queue is all the way around the stand, look. And this is the market. So I'll just rejoin the queue and then I'll let you know, I'll show you it when I get it. I'll let you know how much it is and what it's like. I'm gonna go and join the queue now and I'll rejoin you in a minute. There's the prices up there, look between 50 and 65 I can read some of them some of them I can't eat. all right so the guabao is 60 that's 60 and the others were just soup so we're getting close now there's not many tables to sit at so I'm gonna get it eat it and let you know how it is This is the gua bao inside. There's like a big fatty meat of pork and the bun is like a steamed bun and it's got peanut powder and it looks mega. So I'm gonna scan it now. There you go, there's a close up. Have a deep to that, fatty goodness. Great, here we go. First bite. It's great that. Definitely worth the Michelin flush. It's uh, really tender. So I'm gonna scram that now because that's what I do. Really? So this is gonna be like some Michelin stuff I'm gonna find and put on the channel. All right, I thought that was the end of the video, but it's not the end because we went past somewhere else. They do Lou Roll Fan, which is braised pork rice. And it's a uh, very, uh, it's a very traditional Taiwanese dish but this one is special because they add the oysters to the Lu Ro Fan the braised pork rice so let's check it out and this is called Ai Lu Ro Fan couldn't read the writing properly it's like stylized it's called Ai Lu Ro Fan I'll show you the food now so this one on the right is the one with the oysters and this is a regular braised pork rice and this was 140 and this was huh? 65 this was only 35 for this one but the oysters was 140 so i'm gonna have a taste now 
I'm gonna get a bit of meat and a bit of the oysters, mix it together. I'm gonna give it a taste now. Here we go. Good mm. so that the the combination of the meat and the chewiness of the oysters works like mega. So I'm gonna eat that now, it's lush. There you go, look, you can see the meat underneath and the oysters. This this one isn't Michelin star, but it's famous and it's popular. And uh, it's just next door, so my missus pointed it out. And uh, I thought, well, I'll just give it a try. Oysters are my new thing at the moment. I'm addicted to them. So I thought, yeah, let's have a try. Haven't had a Lou Roll fan for ages, so why not give it a blast? So this is the real end of the video. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Oh, I should add one more thing. I got this for the drink. And this is a... Uh, this is like a Taiwanese root beer drink. Anyway, that is the real end of the video. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.